Okay. All right. Fiona. Awesome. So I actually have been practicing a lot with Emia, and I actually haven't seen Thomas play this game until today. <laughs> but I'm really glad because he's yeah. a really incredibly proficient third strike player, and I played many really good sets with him. So I'm really excited to see him play this game since this game really rewards like well, good fundamentals and really good footsies. So I think a third strike player really fits quite well into this game. <laughs> Looks like they're going right into another button check. This game doesn't really usually need it, so just gonna start it. Right. Jumping, that's rejected. <laughs> Alright. So most of this game is really gonna just be, I mean, typical KOF, very momentum based. Um. Alright. Oh, is that stun? Oh wow, yeah. stun. Finish it. Pretty easily. It's actually funny. Uh, usually, you see Iori in the position of stunning people. Uh, he has like a really nasty 50/50 setup with his uh, cross of taco, as they call it in the community. And I've definitely been on the receiving end of some uh, stun tacos, so it's a really intimidating character. But if you just shut him down and don't let him get started, he's, King has no problem winning that matchup. So we have Thomas playing Leona mid. Leona is an incredibly popular character nowadays. Very considered uh, one of the strongest. Absolutely. It's the, interesting uh, to see her mid, though. Yeah. He's, looks like he's still trying to fe feel her out. Uh, yeah, I think For sure. A lot of us uh, here playing have played against each other a lot, so we're able to really kind of gauge the situation a lot better than some people who may not be able to experience playing the rest of us. Um, it can be kind of hard to adapt to someone that's. Well, first of all, I mean, it was just playing, so he's definitely like warmed up, ready to keep yeah. going and keep playing. Then again, <laughs> Robert's Robert, and he can do some damage. Yeah. It's a very common matchup. I see this matchup a lot. It's a. Uh... I don't quite know what to think about it. It just kind of comes down to how good the players are like that season. Yep. Oh, oh uh, my god. Oh wow. Was... I don't think he's familiar with that super. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that super actually yeah. is like. Not the best reversal. It doesn't. I don't even know if it has like it has very little invincibility on it, and it only does about 200 damage. It's, yeah, but game is going well for him for sure. He's making up for that bad. DC. Well, I guess yeah. it ended up being pretty good. At the end of the day, getting through this wall that is king can be pretty intimidating. We got a king OCB right there. Not the first, devil, not the last. What like color synergy? I know he gets real mad if anyone takes <laughs> his colors online. <laughs> so I'm sure he's picking that team really fast to make yeah. sure he gets his color synergy. Okay, we're going right back in. Um, let's see if Yori can actually take this back. Yeah. 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 Oh, some good, good posts, but that can be really ambiguous to, to deal with. <laughs> Right. Seeing some special moves. <laughs> there we go. Some fireballs. Yeah. But uh, it's a good way to punish on that stand job, or actually yeah. stand light kick. Yeah. Well, we just don't see uh, don't see many follow ups. Just stray moves. No real uh, no reckas. It's a good DP right there. Not yeah. let That's one thing that definitely right there. Exactly. I was just gonna say we need more DPS from Iori. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She has really big, even though she has big hitboxes, she also has really big hurtboxes, so it's really important to punish her as well as just punish her jump ins if you uh, react to her jumping in. Yeah, uh, you need to just take advantage of the vulnerable uh, DPs. King is a very strong character. Um, often, King players themselves, however, including myself, uh, uh, we get into this kind of comfortable zone of playing where we, we like to have this kind of so called wall in front of us, and when that's taken down, it's really intimidating to deal with. Um, oh, no follow up. Enough. She has really uh, long limbs, so trying to punish and actually get like a full combo from it can be really tough at max distances. Especially if you're unfamiliar with either the matchup, the player, and just in general, haven't played much uh, in a more competitive scene. So we're trying oh, to get the jab was... control. That would have been worked if it was on the ground. But yeah, definitely... Leona, one of the most ambiguous and scariest instant overheads that you can actually. Oh! oh. Uh, wow, that was a really good answer. Yeah. Um, and he had no answer. He could have be triggered for B slash. B slash. Sure. Yeah. Uh, usually. But, oh, oh, wow. Wake up. Oh, not oh, yeah. Usually, I wouldn't agree with spending all that bar and leaving yourself kind of empty. However, well, I mean, actually, for both sides. Yeah. Um, specifically, when when you have the lead, it's it's a risk to get rid of all that meter if it doesn't pay off. He was lucky and it did. Um, though, when you are 
like basically OCPing being with a character. I guess taking that taking that risk can really pay off, and so far it's really working for me, huh? Oh, un oh, all these oh. straight hits and did not full confirms. It could have been death twice. Good DP though. Yeah, it's okay. Just... Emiya is He's a fan of learning. safe. Oh, for sure. Emiya is a fan of safe jumps. So uh, being able to recognize when one isn't or when he's kind of going for the same setup he's been doing multiple times. Oh, oh. we did it. We got a combo. I know. We're in it. He's no longer the king anymore. Let's see. Now this, I enjoy this Vice. matchup for Robert. I think that Vice can get in, but if you just don't let her yeah, just, at all, she really out, yeah. gets too scared and can struggle a lot. So people are very hesitant to be playing Vice right now. Yeah. However, I mean, it is no slouch when it comes to playing Vice. Playing his character since 13 and definitely has the experience in these types of matchups. Unfortunate well, drop there, from Robert. This is going to really hurt. That is unfortunate. Yep. Besides not for, Oh, never mind. For, I would have saved that part personally. Ooh, good snipe. This is a lot of damage for sure. He, uh, his fighting spirit increased exponentially in this last <laughs> Absolutely. round. Absolutely. Uh, we went from not really seeing any any confirms to like a full X mode combo. But this might be this ending. It looks like it's going to be it. Yep. Very strong showing from Emiya. He definitely wants to come back and get yep. his revenge in this tournament bracket. Yep.